Hey, good morning. Hope you're having a good day and your week's off to a good start. Wanted to just share with you a few minutes and um, just encourage you as your day gets started. You know, yesterday I was working on my email box and uh, cleaning out a week's worth of emails after coming back from vacation. And um, came through different emails that, of course, had expired and gone by. But probably the worst one to have expired was the one telling me that on Sunday night, I could have gotten a free dozen donuts. Now, it's not that I need a dozen donuts. Uh, nobody needs a dozen donuts, I don't think. And it probably would have cost me the purchase of another dozen. I'm not sure. I didn't look that closely because it, it just disappointed me that I'd missed it. I, the email came last Monday or Tuesday, but being on vacation, trying to check out from emails for a few days and disconnect and check in with my family, I, I totally missed that I could have gotten a free dozen donuts. And it's just one of those reminders of things that sometimes, you know, we look forward to things or we anticipate things or we, we see what we missed and we sometimes wish that we hadn't missed out. And it, there's even a whole term with that of a, a fear of missing out these days that that in life, sometimes we're afraid of missing these things. And it reminds me that there are so many important things in life that we need to be sure that we don't miss. Uh, some things are trivial. Some things, in the end, we'll find out that they really didn't matter so much. But there's some major things that really matter. And it, it pointed me to 2 Corinthians chapter 5. I want to read this for you. Going from the very end of 5 and into chapter 6, it says, For our sake he made him to be sin who knew no sin. Now it's talking about God the Father and the work that he did through Jesus Christ. And it says, For our sake God made Jesus Christ to be sin who knew no sin, so that in him, in Jesus Christ, we might become the righteousness of God. It goes on in chapter 6, it says, Working together with him then, Paul's talking about himself and his other missionary friends that are with him. He says, Working together with him then, we appeal to you not to receive the grace of God in vain. For he says, In a favorable time I listened to you, and in a day of salvation I have helped you. Behold, now is the favorable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. This really is truly one of those things in life. It's truly the most important thing in life that I want to encourage you today that, that we make sure that we don't miss and we encourage others just as Paul would to encourage them not to miss. Because Jesus Christ has done everything through his death on the cross. He became sin itself. He took on our sin, though he was perfect in every way. He had lived a perfect life. He took on a sin that he did not deserve, a punishment for our sin that he did not deserve, so that we could become the very righteousness of God in him. And, and, and that should challenge us in two ways. One, it should challenge us that if we have not yet trusted in Jesus Christ, today is the day of salvation. There is no better day than right now. If you do not know Jesus Christ, these scriptures right here, they tell you clearly, behold, now is the favorable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. There is no better time than right now to turn to Jesus Christ to say, I know I'm a sinner. I know I've broken your law and I know I own my own. I can't, I can't take care of this problem. But thank you for dying on the cross, taking the penalty that I deserve and rising again from the grave. And Jesus, I accept your free gift of salvation that you offer to me today, and I give my life to you. If you've never done that, today is the day of salvation. Today is the greatest day to not miss out on something that God has already provided for you so long before. But if you are a believer, the response that Paul also has is the one that we need to have too. The response that he has is he says, working together with Jesus Christ, we appeal to you to not receive the grace of God in vain. And he implores the Corinthians to remember the great salvation. In a favorable time I listened to you. In a day of salvation I have helped you. We should speak into the lives of those who we come in contact with who do not yet know Jesus Christ and encourage them, implore them that they will accept the free gift of Jesus Christ, the free gift of His grace for them. And just and just come to them as ones who come on behalf of Jesus ourselves to, to say, we, we implore you, to we appeal to you to receive the grace of God and to not let this go to emptiness, to not, not let it go to vain, but to let the work of Jesus Christ be accomplished in your life. If you're a believer, I encourage you today to, to take this to heart. Pray for someone who needs to hear the message of Jesus Christ and look for ways to speak the truth of his word into their life and to encourage them to come to know Jesus as their Lord and Savior. You know, missing Krispy Kreme, I'll get over that. But I'm so grateful that that I made the decision long ago to trust in Jesus Christ. And, and I'll never miss out on the great reward that he has for me. 
in eternity with him and a life lived with him right here within me and walking along beside me to lead me in the path that he wants me to go and to follow him for the rest of my days. I'm so grateful that I haven't missed that. And I encourage you to, to, to make that certain for yourself and to, to look for others around you who need to know that truth. Have a great one.